Minister of Finance Tito Mbaweni delivered his maiden budget speech uh, today and of course um, it was a very significant one, a very difficult one at a time when South Africa is facing um, an economic uh, crisis, a tough economy. We are all highly indebted, uh, the long-suffering consumers um, again today facing some increases. Of course uh, we have a large debt um, as a country and many people waiting for some announcements on our state-owned enterprises. So how did he do? Well, I'm going to ask my guest. And I'm going to welcome Pamantla Mkwanazi, FNB economist, Chantal Marx, head of equity, and Esther Oxo, who is FNB product specialist. Thank you so much. In the recent past, we used to hear words like balanced budget. You know, it was a tight walking rope and so on. But over the past few years, words like gloomy, tough, and so on um, have become more normal when we discuss the budget. So what were your impressions this time? Um, I thought it disappointed from a consumer perspective as well as from an economic perspective given that um, the date ratios um, seem to have deteriorated a bit but overall it was a balanced one. I think it's going to be tough for the consumer out there. Normally we get a slight inflationary relief for the personal tax, none of that came through. There's no relief in terms of tax-free savings account so I do think that there's going to be a lot of pressure on the consumer. Any reaction from the markets at all? Yeah, well, initially the market reaction was quite negative. So we had the RAND blow up, we had bond yields pick up, and we had the equity market not really responding because it's really a resources driven yeah. day today. Right after the budget, uh, the RAND pulled back to levels we saw at the beginning of the, of the day, and bond yields were flat basically for the day right after the budget. So it seems as if the initial reaction was quite negative, but all in all, nothing really happened.